Oh, hi. So, uh, Ben here again. So, uh, I'm driving. I'm in New Mexico right now, and I don't know, I was just listening to a really good audio book called The Four Agreements. Um, check it out if you, uh, if you ever get a chance to. But, uh, you know, it just got me thinking about the world and uh, all the negativity that is out in it right now and just being spread around like 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 a virus is that a uh, probably not a, the best way to put it I guess but it's true you know and too many people are, are becoming too sensitive I think you know because they want to fight against negativity you know uh, opinions that they don't agree with things like that and What's funny to me is how this tactic of being so sensitive and, you know, being so offended and, you know, taking everything so personally, you know, um, it, what it creates is a vicious nature within people and, I, you know, I've seen it firsthand a few times, um, here lately, and, you know, it's, it's, it's not, I don't think it's their fault, you know, honestly, because everybody's being told that all these things are wrong, you know, and that, you know, you don't need to think for yourself, this is how things are, you know, um, I feel like over the past 10 years with social media and everything, uh, you know, the, the art of independent thinking has really, you know, died. (laughs) You know, no one, nobody takes the time anymore to actually let things gestate within their own mind and, you know, uh, form their own opinion about things. You know, what makes sense to your life? What makes sense to your way of thinking? You know, your world, everybody has a different experience, you know? And that's the, that's one of the joys of life. And and to tell you the truth, you know, uh, when, as I was being raised, you know, this is something that was not, um, you know, a a foreign way of thinking. This was not something that was looked down upon. You were encouraged to be, uh, uh, unique, you know, people used to really love to stand out about, you know, uh, or, you know, and, and share their uniqueness and things that I can do that, you know, maybe someone else can't do. And it wasn't because what I can do is better than what you can do. It's because, well, you know, I'll do the, my thing and then you'll do your thing. And then we have a whole bunch of things that we can all do. And, you know, now we have a party, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and it makes life more exciting because, you know, you're always just interested in what else you can get out of it. You know, what, what, what information can you absorb? You know, what, give me another way of thinking about something and, and I'll, and I'll entertain that thought process. You know, I'd, I'd love to know where you, where you come from, but now it's just so damaging, you know, and people get so offended so easily. If you have a difference of opinion, you know, different thought process, you know, they don't even care that you came from a different background and why maybe you think that way, you know? Um, and I think that's, a, that's a scary way to be. I think that that's not necessarily where the world needs to go. I definitely don't want that for my kids. You know, I I don't want my kids, you know, being told how to think, you know, or what to do, you know, who they are, you know, or things like that. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not up for the world to raise my kids. That's, you know, and and I don't, (laughs) the things I've seen, especially these past few years, I don't want the world to have anything to do with my kids' development, you know. I really don't. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't like what it's doing to people, you know. And, you know, I'm not some old fogey, you know. I'm only 38 years old, you know. I mean, I, 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 I do remember a time before internet, before everybody had a computer in their hands, you know. And I'm not going to say that, oh, it was so much better you know, like some old geezer or something like that, but, I mean, in a way, you know, people did have to learn how to be people and how to function as themselves and as, 
as independent thinkers, as unique animals, you know, in a, in a, in a world crowded, full of characters, you know, and I think that there was something better about that, you know, uh, about that way of, of, of viewing the world and, and interacting with it. But, you know, I mean, technology is great. I've, I've adopted technology. Shoot. I, I can't even, I can't even find my way across town anymore without GPS, you know, and, uh, I, I don't remember anybody's phone numbers. I just pushed the picture, you know, and that's, you know, and that's, there's, there's a lot to be said about that. You know, I think, you know, it's made us lazy in a lot of ways. Uh, but at the same time though, it, it gives us the ability to, you know, maybe focus on other things in life, you know, um, but where we have gotten to with this ability to, you know, to spread out our ways of thinking, you know, to, to kind of broaden our horizons, it's starting to kind of turn inward, I think, and become a very negative thing, you know? And again, like I said at the beginning, I feel like the ways that people are trying to avoid negativity now is, has become very, uh, uh, vicious, you know, and, and people will attack you if you have a difference of opinion, because it's like, you know, if I have a difference of opinion, that, that must be that I'm saying that you're wrong and I'm right, and bah, you know, but that's, <laughs> that's not what it is. I just don't, I don't, my life has not led me to the con same conclusions in ways of thinking that yours has. That doesn't mean we have to fight about it. That doesn't mean that we have to be enemies, you know, you know, and, and, and it doesn't mean we have to be friends, you know, we can just kind of coexist, you know, but I don't need you to believe what I believe in order for me to believe it. And I, you don't need me to believe what you believe in order for you to believe it. You know, if you're happy and comfortable with what you think, and how, you know, and how you situate yourself in this life, then all power to you. And that's a wonderful thing, you know, but I'm not mad at you, you know, because we can still probably agree on lots of things like the sky is blue and beautiful, you know, a, a, a nice clear, you know, night, you know, uh, with the stars and the moon and all that, that's, that's still something beautiful to look at, you know, and, you know, and, and, and that's that there is no point of argument there, you know, I mean, unless you're just really trying, which, you know, maybe that's the way you are and that's understandable because everybody wants to fight about everything nowadays. And it just doesn't really get us anywhere good. You know, this, uh, this last few years, maybe this last year more specifically, you know, I've said it a couple times on this channel and it just really, really, really gets at me you know, how tense everyone is, you know, and how uh, many soapboxes have been created that people want to stand on and say, I'm right, you're wrong. My way is better than your way, you know, and that's just not how we should be, you know, especially with how closely connected we are now, you know, the internet has provided this way of communication that I'm not really sure that we were ready for or even need, you know, I mean, could you imagine, you know, like if this technology eventually gets to the point where we could all just read each other's thoughts? How scary is that? You know, I don't care what side of whatever you're on, right? Can you imagine right now if somebody knew everything you were thinking, right? I think there's some movie uh, that I saw a couple weeks back. Uh, it's, it's got a, 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 that dude that plays Spider-Man, Tom Holland in it. And um, there's this planet where people had to go to uh, uh, where... <laughs> or for some reason, only men, uh, this, this planet brings out their inner thoughts and you can hear and kind of see what they are thinking. And, you know, and it's very uncomfortable, you know, you run, you know, there's no women on this planet, hardly, at least at the beginning, you know, spoiler alert. And, uh, but, uh, you know, as soon as he, his character sees a woman, you can just see and hear all the things going on in his head, you know, and that's, that's, that should be private. You know what I mean? You, people should be, have the ability to form, you know, formulate their thoughts, you know, and get them all together and then say, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't really think that that's just where my mind wandered, whatever. And then filter it out before you actually speak, you know, or text it, you know, or post it or whatever it is, you know, because, you know, I mean, all of it just becomes like gossip. None of it's really, 
none of it's really, you know, you know, bounded in reality. You know, it's just kind of what you think. And it's not, and, 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 and thoughts like that are like little babies. They're like infants, you know, infant thoughts, right? And they're not, they, they haven't grown up and matured yet, you know, and, and you're just, and if you're constantly letting all this stuff out where everybody can see, then eventually you're not even going to know who you are. It's like, it's like you're gossiping about yourself, about your inner thoughts. And, you know, I, I think that's dangerous. To me, gossip is poison. You know, gossip is 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 the, the thing that we are all taught to do before before anything you know we see our parents you know going oh did you know did you see so and so you know at the grocery store or or whatever and you know or did you oh did, did you hear about this you know you know some you know whoever's doing this thing now blah 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 you know and then we grow up as as kids we get put in the system the educational system and then we do the same kind of thing but we do it in a very immature kind of way, you know, and, and it becomes very hostile very quickly and kids start fighting over things and, ah! you know, and it's just, it just gets ridiculous, I think, you know, and you're supposed to grow out of that, you know, you're supposed to uh, develop more mature ways of doing things and processing thoughts as you get older, you know, and, and that used to be kind of like, you know, something that people would want to do. They used to call it phases, right? Um, you know, like, oh, I was just going through a phase, you know, and then, and I, and, and I, I definitely did, you know, I've gone through different phases in my life where I, I, you know, and it changed my entire thought process whenever I was done with it. Just one day, like, you know, like, like a ton of bricks or a wall, you know, of thought hits me and I'm like, wow, I was looking at that the wrong way. And I, it, and, it, and you learn to humble yourself as you get older to, uh, you know, to have a grander understanding of, of, of the world around you and that, you know what, you're going to be wrong 99% of the time, you know, if you just blur it out every little thought that you have, you know, maybe slow down a little bit and think about what you're saying, you know, and see things from somebody else's point of view. That might be good, you know, you know, that way, that way you don't walk into a new encounter with someone with so much hostility based on, you know, the way they look, you know, what, how they're dressed, you know, uh, the way they sound, you know, when they speak, you know, um, I don't know anything like that, anything on the outside, you know, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't allow yourself to go down that train of thought, you know, because, uh, that's, uh, that doesn't, you know, that, that doesn't lead you anywhere good and it only leads to hostility and that's coming from you. That's not their fault. That's coming from you. It's your fault. If you don't like somebody, not theirs, you know, and it's not up to you to tell them, you know, to, to voice your opinion about them. You know, you don't know anything about them. Have a conversation, you know, have a conversation. Now, if they come to you and they, they look at you up and down, they go, ah, you know, and they approach you with hostility. Well, they're making the same mistake as you, you know, for me, I tried to approach every new encounter with someone new as just that, a, ch a chance to learn something new, a chance to see something new, you know, and have a different experience, you know, like, you know, uh, you know, you never know who you're talking to. And most people don't really know how to present themselves, especially now it's scary, you know, I mean, shoot. You know, it's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's important, I think, to at least give everyone the chance to disappoint you. <laughs> no, I mean, but, you know, give everybody the, the chance to, you know, to, to, to really be themselves. You know, and, and, and it has a lot to do with how you approach someone. If you approach someone in a, host, you know, in a hostile way, then they're going to come back with it. You know, everybody's very guarded already especially nowadays, because that's just how social media has trained us to blurt out these ideas. This is what I think. But, you know, the thing about social media is that whenever you're putting a post, you don't have to suffer the consequences, you know, but now, now, nowadays people are saying this stuff, you know, out loud to someone's face and then they get punched right in the face. And they're like, Oh my God, right in my Facebook. And you know, they probably deserve it because maybe you need to shut the hell up. You know, maybe you just need to approach, uh, you know, learn how to approach things differently. You know, slow down. You know, you are not as important as you think. You know, you know, 
Not if you go, not if you go around acting like you are, like you're top shit. You know, that's not going to get you anywhere good. Because you know, I mean, if everybody's top shit, then no one is, right? So learn how to get along. Jeez, you know, learn learn to think about what you are going to say before you actually say it. You know, learn to expand your mind with the unknown. You know, maybe learn something. You know, it's it's. It's one of the most exhilarating things you can ever do is to learn something new, a, a new way, a new outlook on things. You know, it's 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 amazing where it could take you. Anyway, though, the reason I think about all this stuff is because you know I am going into the wind, and I guess how does this <laughs> how does this uh, uh, you know uh, uh, go into wind energy? Um, I'm about to be a hundred percent travel. You know. And I am going to be meeting a lot of new people from a lot of different backgrounds all the time, all the time. You know, I'll probably have, you know, a group of people that I'm, that I'm with, you know, for long periods of time here and there, you know, um, different teams and stuff like that. And that's going to be great. But, you know, if you are thinking about a career in wind energy, you know, or really any kind of job that is structured like this, where you're traveling a lot, you know, like in the oil industry or, or, uh, you know, uh, 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 welders and, and things like that, but more specifically for this purpose, you know, wind energy, if you're thinking about a career in wind energy, you need to really check yourself before you get into it. Okay. You need to understand why you are doing it. You need to understand what is your goal? What is everyone else's goal? What is, Why does this even exist? Why is it being supported? You know? But if you go into it thinking you're top shit, you're going to find out real quick where you belong. Which is probably not anywhere on a wind farm. So, if I can, out of all this garble, which thanks for listening, (laughs) if you're still here, uh, just understand that when you're coming into this, you need to have an open mind. Not not necessarily just for the education and what you're doing in the job. Of course not. I'm talking about who you're going to be doing it with. You know. And definitely check your ego. I think that's a good idea for everybody. You know. I believe it at the door. This, this industry is all about teamwork. It's all about family. And I think that can... You know, a little love can go a long way. And if you allow that into your life, if you allow yourself to be an open book, well, you can count that as a win. Well, thank you so much.